Hi, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Uh, I'm going to discuss further into conic sections and polar coordinates. And now look at example two. So make sure to watch my earlier videos on conics and uh, conic sections and polar coordinates, which I went over some pretty extensive proofs of the unified theorem and uh, and its simple uh, formulation in polar coordinates. So make sure to watch. The, those videos, and I'll put those in the link in the description below. So now let's look at this example, which states a conic is given by the polar equation r equals to 10 divided by 3 minus 2 cosine theta. And we're asked to find the eccentricity, identify the conic, locate the directrix, and sketch the conic. So let's just uh, jump right in and first thing that we need to do is well uh, recall the formula for a conic and polar equation so basically recall that a conic I'll put a comma here recall conic uh, section uh, has the formula r equals to e times d where e is the eccentricity d is the distance to the directrix and then you're dividing this by one plus or minus e cosine theta or you could also have r equals to e uh, e times d one plus or minus e sine theta. And again, this this depends on the orientation of the directrix. So in our case, uh, we have a three there. So I'll write that right here. In our case, or in our case, what we have is r equals to. Let's write it here. R equals to 10 divided by 3 minus 2 cosine uh, theta. So in other words, here to make it look like this one, we need to divide both sides by 3 to make this a 1. So what I'll do is I'll multiply this out by 1 over 3, 1 over 3 like that. Just multiply both sides. Or yes, yeah, so we're dividing by 3 on both sides, on the top and bottom. So what happens now is this becomes 10 over 3, and then this right here becomes 1 minus 2 over 3. So the 3's cancel over there, so we have uh, yeah, 2 over 3 cosine theta. Yeah, so here I'll just write this neater and box this out. This is our formula for our conic in the standard conic form. So what we have is we have a minus, and we have a cosine right here. So yeah, so also what we have is this, uh, the E is this part right here, E is going to be t 2 over 3. So thus, uh, E equals to 2 over 3, but notice that this is less than 1. And recall that, the, yeah, so this is the eccentricity, and now uh, next step is to locate the conic. Since it's less than 1, this is going to be an ellipse. So then this is an ellipse. And uh, you can recall that if it's less than one, this can be an ellipse like that. Circle that. And also now to get the directrix, so we look at the uh, ED is going to be 10 over 3. So I'll write and E times D equals a 10 over 3, where E equals to 2 over 3 times it by D. So then we have, yeah, this is 2 over 3, that's just this one over here. So now what we have is, well, the three is just cancels, multiplied by on both sides, and then move this over to this side. So we get D equals to 10 over two. And then, uh, yeah, 10 over two just equals to five. So we have, yeah, D equals to five. And also what we have is, yeah, also now notice or recall that since, uh, since we have over here, we have a minus, yeah, so we have a minus and a cosine. Since we have uh, one minus e, uh, yeah, e cosine theta, then then what we have is the directrix. So I'll write, I'll just write, since we have this, then uh, the directrix is going to be located at, yeah, then this is going to be is located at, or directrix is, at x equals to, this is going to be, yeah, so this is going to be x. Because it's a cosine, we get the x. And because this one is a minus, recall that this one's going to be a minus. So we're going to have a minus d. 
So this is going to be x equals to minus d, which equals to negative uh, 5 over there, so negative 5. Yeah, so then basically the directrix is at, um, like this, x equals to negative 5. And now the next step of this example is to sketch the conic. So uh, what we'll end up having is the directrix can be at x equals negative 5. It's going to be an ellipse. So if we have, I'll draw it over here, the x and y axis. This is the x, this is the y. So at x equals to uh, negative 5, we're going to have a line like this. Let's draw it a bit better vertical line. So this is at negative 5 over here. So this is at our, yeah, I'll just write this as our directrix. Directrix, and this is at x, um, yes, I'll write, x equals to negative five line. And then uh, recall that the, yeah, that the conic formula in polar coordinates is defined, well, it's written uh, such that the focus, recall, is at the origin. So this is our focus f and it's at the origin 0, 0, and then the polar axis by convention is just the positive x axis and polar coordinates. So I'll write polar axis like this. And then we know that it's going to be an ellipse, and now let's find the coordinates that's gonna be, well, or the vertices on the ellipse, and remember it's, it's gonna be uh, somewhere on this axis, so we're gonna look at when the angle is going to be over here, theta equals to pi, or uh, 180 degrees, or tau over 2, if, you, uh, <laughs> if you've watched my earlier video on, on why pi is wrong. Yeah, so that one is to get a point uh, somewhere across there, but also we have at uh, this, this line over here at theta equals to 0, it's just this horizontal line at the polar axis. Yes, yeah, so to do that is, well, first of all, let's look at our formula again. So we have r equals to 10 over 3, or I'll just write that in the original one, 10 over 3 minus 2 cosine theta, like that. So we've already identified it's going to be an ellipse, and so on. So now what we want to do is look at the values of cosine. So recall that the cosine curve looks something like this. So if you draw this, this is theta, or theta, this is y, or I'll just write this as, this is cosine theta. It's going to look something like this. Yeah, this is how it looks like. Just, um, yeah, so this is gonna be at uh, angle zero, and then at angle pi over two is zero, then this length here, this is just, or the height is one. And then at the very bottom uh, over here, draw this better, it's gonna look something like that. Draw this even better like this, and this is at negative one, and draw this one more time. Yeah, so I just draw that, picks it up. So it, it goes to the bottom as negative one, and a high, a high of uh, one, so that's at zero, uh, cosine is one. And then at, uh, at over here, this is at pi, this is gonna be negative one. So what we have is over here, uh, I'll write this over here, uh, cosine zero equals to one, and then this part right here, uh, cosine pi equals to negative one. So throw that over in here. What we have is thus, yeah, so thus at theta equals to zero, what we end up having is, yeah, is cosine zero equals to one and r, r equals to 10 over three minus two cosine zero, so times it by one. This equals to now uh, 10 over, well this is three minus two is just over one. Yeah, this is equals to 10, like that. So in other words, at, uh, at the polar axis, or at this point, we're gonna have the vertices actually is gonna be on here. So this is gonna go, I'm gonna move it all the way across here. This is gonna be somewhere like this. This is at our 10 and zero, and this is in polar coordinates. And likewise now, going over to here, so, uh, and at, no, let's write, and at theta equals to pi, cosine uh, pi equals to negative one, and then we have r equals 10, three minus two times negative one. So now what we have is t 10 uh, over three minus, this is gonna be plus two. This equals to 10 over five, and this equals to, well, r equals to two. 
So in other words, yeah, in other words, what we have is thus vertices of the ellipse, it's going to be on the x-axis, uh, vertices are, are at, yeah, I was right, at, um, yeah, so what we have, it's going to be at r equals to, uh, this one's 10 and 0 angle, and 10, I mean, uh, and 2 and pi, and these are in uh, radian, I mean, uh, these are in polar coordinates, so these are, let's write this again, this is a polar coordinates, yeah, like that, where you have r and the angle theta, so that's how we look like, so then uh, I've drawn over here, this is at 10, 0, so then at this point, if this is negative 5, it's going to be somewhere over here, and uh, I'll write this point, this is going to be at 2 and pi. And then it's going to look something like this. Draw this around. Look something like that. Yeah, so look something like this. It's a it's an ellipse. And again, just to uh, clarify uh, again, just to make sure you don't get confused, these are all in pol polar coordinates. So for a default, just a random point right here, p, and this is going to be an r theta, where this distance across, like that. Let's draw this a bit better. This is going to be theta and this is going to be r like that and i'll just shift this angle zero uh, further here and yeah here just shifted that better so that's how just for any angle like that and now what we could do is uh, just move on further here we can double check our work or so double checking with desmos graphing calculator yields the same graph just a graph here to show you it's exact same thing yeah here i quickly just fix that up i realized it was at x equals negative six before so fix that up it's x equals negative five is the directrix like that and as you can see this is our directrix Right, exactly over there at x equals to negative 5. Put a better arrow so it's not like a negative. So we, we have here, this is the focus f at 0, 0. And if this is 5, this is 4, 3, 2. And there's the vertice exactly as we sketched it earlier. And this is the angle uh, of pi like that. So it goes like that. That's pi. And then as you can see here, this is the 10 and 0 like that. 10, 0, and uh, yeah, let's write this over here, uh, theta equals 0 at this line at the polar axis. And also, uh, I want to make a note is note what we have at at uh, these values right here and here, we can go like this. This is at pi over 2. So at note at uh, theta or theta is equal to pi over 2, uh, or uh, you could even go backwards as well. This is negative pi over 2. I'm just going to write this as plus or minus pi over 2 as like working with a negative what we end up having is cosine of plus or minus pi over 2 is equal to well this is equal to 0 I'll show you scrolling up to our uh, uh, recall part right here so at pi over 2 this is 0 so right here is cosine pi over 2 equals to 0 and also here this is at negative pi over 2 it's symmetric about the y-axis and then we have cosine negative pi over 2 equals to 0. So plus or minus that equals to 0. So thus what we have is, uh, so thus r is going to be equal to 10 over, so let's write this over, over here actually. So what we have is thus, over here with an arrow, thus r equals to 10 over 3 minus 0. Because number 0 times um, 2 is still going to be 0. So 10 minus 0 is going to be 10 over 3, like that. So in other words, this all the way at this point, this is going to be 10 over 3. So it's a, uh, this is going to be about, well, 3.333 and keeps going on and on. Yeah, so it's just, uh, yeah, like that. So what we could see is, well, if we look at it, and in fact it is, so because uh, you have 5 here, it's going to be negative 4. This is negative 3, it's going to be a third of the negative 3 uh, to 4. So it's going to be right over here, and that is at... Well, uh, this can be negative. Actually, no, this is just gonna be positive because it's a it's a distance to it. So this can be ten over ten over three. Divide. I mean, yeah, ten over three, and then this is at negative pi over two. So this distance is going to be r equals to ten over three. And likewise, over at here, pi over two over top, as you see, the exact same thing is mirrored above, and this is going to be ten over three and pi over 2, like that. This one's negative pi over 2. And remember, uh, 
the R component is just the distance to the, uh, the center. Yeah, so if you look at it over on the negative side, it's going to be something like this. This is where R, and this is just a point with the angle. I'm going to go negative here just for, uh, for fun. So we have negative theta, and this is going to be P, yeah, this point P, and this is R negative theta. So it doesn't, yeah, so it's always going to be just positive there. If it's negative, you go backwards. Recall, if it's negative uh, 10 over 3, you would have to go backwards here. So this part right here also can equal to negative 10 over 3, negative pi over 2. <laughs> so again, make sure to watch my earlier videos on polar coordinates. Pretty fascinating stuff. So in this case, you would go negative angle here, find distance 10 over 3, then go backwards. <laughs> So anyways, that is all for today. Yeah, hopefully you learned from this uh, pretty detailed example on uh, determining the conic just by being given the uh, just a polar equation like this and just make it in the standard form and then you can determine all of its properties. Anyways, this is all for today. Thanks for watching. Like always, you can download these exact notes in the link in the description below as well as viewing these notes on Steam it. Follow me at MES. I'll be uploading these in article format. And also, yeah, make sure to check out my private Discord channel as well as my math forums and post any cool math or science related stuff you find. Anyways, this is all for today. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.